Hi and welcome to rjpassini.com. My name is Rich Passini. Today is August 25th, 2018. Thanks for tuning in. For those who are new subscribers, I just want to say thank you for subscribing to my channel. Uh, as you all know, the title on my channel is to helping, inspiring, and sharing. And whenever you get any money-saving tips or if I could share information that may be available and helpful to you guys, I will put it out there. Uh, for those who know me, who've been following me for quite some time, I also go by as, as the name is the Fugal Entrepreneur. <laughs> so anything I could do to help save money or cut back on you know certain things to make life a little easy, I always say a man with less has less to worry about. And that's uh, also with credit cards. The less credit cards, the less you have to worry about. And um, if you're not familiar with this website, it's called Frugal for Less. I like it. I, I, I check it out on a daily basis. I get email notifications. And when they come out with some good information, I like to share it with those uh, who are familiar or, you know, are, are in a situation uh, that I was once in. And over here, this came out today, uh, August 25th, 2018. It's eight ways to pay off your credit card debt. Uh, for those who follow me, uh, you know that um, I tell a little story about myself uh, in the past, how I got myself into credit card debt, not through my own dealings, but through job losses. Um, you know, when you have a job and you're making a decent salary, uh, everything is fine and Jim Dandy, but when you lose your job uh, and you can't make those monthly bills like you used to because you're collecting unemployment and you're taking a pay cut, um, you got to do something to help you out. So. Um, that's what I. That's how I got involved with all of this here. You know, that's why I'm a, like a, a real stickler when it comes to uh, credit cards. I am. I am anti credit card. <laughs> uh, matter of fact, I gave up on my credit cards. All I use now is just the debit cards. But anyway, um, I just want to go over this really quick with you. I want to make this a quick, short, uh, you know, uh, video. So I hope the information I provide will help you out. But it goes over here to say, um, having a credit card is. Having a credit card or two is financially sound idea, but only if you're careful and follow some credit card advice, such as pay off your balance every month, never skip a payment, use a rewards card, use a card for needs, not wants, have one for emergency only. Uh, and then it goes on to say here, following this guidance, you, you shouldn't um, have any credit card problems, but sometimes things get out of hand and we had to use the card a lot, like they say, when it rains, it pours. And now you have a now you uh, you have amazed some credit card debt, and then it goes over here to say now you may need to pay off all your credit card debts, but before we could start working on our debt relief plan, we need to know what uh, we're working with. I'm not going to read this whole thing, folks, because uh, you know it'll take a little time here, and I want to try and make this quick and short. So hopefully um, you'll pick up where I left off. Uh, just to give you a heads up, it's uh, the website is uh, www.frugalforless.com, and you could read this story. Um, it goes on over here. I'm just gonna you know point out some highlights. It says over here first you add them up, of course, your credit card debt. Um, you're gonna look at how much your APRs are, which in some cases I had this at one time where it was 18%, but maybe a little higher, and. Um, you don't want to have this much credit card debt, 5000 thousand, two thousand, 2000 and 500 uh, because if you look at the amount, if you did have multiple cards, which I did at one time, and some credit card companies will require these minimum payments to make a payment on a, you know, on a balance like that. So this is just an example. This is what's cost you $320 a month if you had to make the payment on these three credit cards. So you might want to you know, really reassess your financial situation before you start using credit cards. Um, I believe this is just an example, but let's say over here it says the total you have is 8000 your total balance is 11927 in total payments, and 11 years and 5 months to pay it all off. Seems shocking once you have it all down on paper, isn't it? Not to worry, here are 8 different ways to pay off your credit card debts. One we all know is to transfer your zero to a zero interest card. But remember with that, folks, that's only for a certain time period. It's not going to be for the life of the loan, as far as I know. Now, unless they change things around, that's the way I was under the impression that's the way it works. And it goes over here on to say, uh, as you saw earlier in the example, uh, you lost $3,876.22 to total interest, payment, uh, total interest payments alone. So transfer all your credit cards 
over to a 0% interest and save, save money. Let's redo our example. So now it goes over here, card A, B, and, uh, card a and B would transfer to card C. Card C now is a new balance is 8000 And then it goes over here to say credit card C, uh, card C with the zero interest rate is only for one year. That's what I'm talking about. So if you could, you know, bring your balance down before, with, within one year or even possibly pay it off, that would be a great. That would really be good. Uh, and then it goes on to seven here. Then it becomes 14.74% uh, APR. That's why I say you got to be careful, folks, when you're using credit cards. Then it goes on to say your minimum payment is now $320 a month for one year. In one year, you have paid $3,840 balance left. Uh, balance is left is $4,160. And then with with uh, the new 14.74%, uh, 14 the minimum is now is 166. It will take you nine years and six months to pay off a total of nine uh, total payment of 9,753.26, and you will have saved 2,173.92 with this simple exam, uh, simple action. So that's just over. That's just another. That's just you know, give me a little breakdown on how it's going to work. And then over here, uh, it says to pay off. If I can get my computer to move, here we go. Uh, pay off more than a minimum. Um, if you could pay off your minimum on here. That's even another game change because that'll help you even pay off a, a lot more sooner, you know. But I'm not going to read this here, but I'm just going to read the highlights of some of them here. Pay more often. Let's uh, let's say, let's read this one here. It says, let's try a different strategy. Use uh, you can use maybe 450 a month is too much. Instead of waiting to pay once, uh, whoops, once a month, pay a little every uh, a little bit every week. Uh, what ends up happening is you actually end up paying more on the card than the minimum payment would. And then here's another example. Let's start with the original setup with card A, B, and C. The card A minimum payment is 200 instead of 60. Instead, pay 60 a week. It would only take you 99 months to pay it off. Um, to pay it off with a total of 5,959 and one and that's over here paid. And then it goes on to say over here uh, again how much you could save with it. Uh, instead, it, over here then it says it only took eight years with when you're doing this method. But you know, folks. Um, you know, I, I'm, I'm, the reason why I'm a stickler on this here is because, um, I've been through this and I had, a, I've been in a lot of credit card debt and, um, you know, when you have a job and you're making decent money and you're able to afford to pay all these things off and stuff like that, um, you know, it, it's not too bad, but when you lose your job, like I said, again, and you're collecting unemployment, uh, you're taking a big pay cut, uh, things do get different, you know, they do get difficult at times and sometimes you can't make these payments. Uh, if you did have a payment right along where you were paying $200 a month on one credit card and now you're collecting unemployment and uh, unemployment's only for about 26 weeks and if you don't find a job with them you start tapping into your savings money will deplete very quickly I know I've been there folks and it is scary let me tell you I mean I have to honestly say I'm not saying it's to scare people but you know you do your own math and you can figure your own things out you'll see what I'm talking about but um let's go again see what the highlights so the other one is over here number four lower your interest rate of course, they tell you make more money. <laughs> what else is no right? That's that's a, a no-brainer. Um, here it says we had a huge. There is a there is a huge number of ways to make extra money every month. So I'll just uh, list a few easy ones to do in your spare time. Survey apps. I don't know how this really works. Shopping apps, Acorns, get a side hustle, cut back on spending. I would say the most one right here would cut back on expending. Uh, get a side hustle. Well, if you could do something on the side to make extra cash, that'd be good too. Acorns, um, I'm not familiar with it. It says, let this app grow your savings every week. Uh, it might be a savings thing. I didn't really check into it. They are have, they do have active uh, hyperlinks, so you can click them on. But the best one would be is this one here, cut back on your spending. Trim your expenses, uh, spend less, and other and other ideas. That's another one. Uh, then here's another one that would be also a good one. Uh, debt consolidation. Uh, this is a different type. This is from, what, what is that? I'm getting tongue-tied here. This is different from consolidating all your credit cards onto one card. Uh, this debt consolidation is working with your bank or a debt relief company to get a loan to pay off all your debts. You know, folks, this is nothing wrong with this here, but let me tell you something. If you're going to do that, where you're going to, you know, do a consolidation, there's another way if you have bad credit, what you could do is, uh, and this is just, I'm just throwing this idea out there. I've done it in the past. If you have, let's say you have um, five different credit cards, and let's say each one has a credit balance on it. I don't know. Let's say, for argument's sake, 
uh, maybe a thousand dollars on each one. I'm just using as a quick example, but you have one. At a, let's say the at credit cards, you got four that have a thousand dollars credit line on each one. They got a credit balance, right? But you have out of the five credit cards, you got the one that has maybe a six thousand dollar line of credit or a seventy five hundred dollar line of credit. What you could do is, um, if you get those convenient checks from your bank, you could do is um, pay off those existing four credit cards. Now, when you pay them off, I don't know how it's going to work. Sometimes the bank, when you're paying off a card, uh, you can leave it as it is, or if you close them out, um, you could do that as well to protect yourself. And you could just have one bill. Therefore, you'd be streamlining and getting rid of all the other interest on the other cards. So let's just say each credit card that you have on the four of them, that is, they all have different uh, APRs, like one might have 7%, 8%, 10%, 12%, whatever. What you could do is get the one that has the high credit card balance, I mean, a uh, credit line, and let's say that one there, for argument's sake, is let's say maybe 12% or 14%. It's better to do it to take those cards, write a convenient checkout, pay off all those credit cards, right, the other four. You'll only have the one, now you're down to one, okay? Uh, and then you you could just focus on that there. You could, if you if you got extra money, you could add to it. You could add a little to the uh, principal and interest every month, and you could add an extra payment if you could afford to do it. And you'll drop your bills that much quicker. The best thing to do is my my suggestion, folks, if you did run into a scenario like that, pay off your credit card debt, close the accounts or close the credit cards out, and keep one with a decent credit line on it. Okay, uh, when I say decent, I say anywhere between. A thousand to fifteen hundred dollars credit line that's it balance I mean you know or credit limit I wouldn't go any more than that because once you start you know uh, you know escalating it to a five thousand dollar line of credit ten thousand fifteen twenty thousand whatever you're gonna be tempted to spend it and uh, I know people say no no that ain't true it have it could happen okay uh, the reason I got my credit card debt into a lot of credit card debt is because um, I had an old car that every other month it was something was breaking down on it, and every time I had to pay bills with it, I was using a specific credit card, and you know throughout the course of the years, it jacks up, and uh, I got myself in a pretty bad fix. So you know I know I've been there, I've been there, so I, I know what it's all about, folks, and it it's not a good place to be, believe me. But here it goes on to say uh, you could take a personal loan out. Now with banks, sometimes the bank loans, or personal loans, are a little pricey, so you might want to think about that. The debt relief company is okay. Um, I went through one of those there, but I was told by them when I first got involved with this year, because when I went into my credit card uh, situation, they tell you not to make the payments. So every time you get your monthly bill, they were telling you when you get the bills, don't make the payments. This I forget the name of the credit card company, but let me tell you something. Uh, by listening to them, it screwed me up, okay? Um, I am not really one for debt relief company. If you could work around it and get away from it, you might well now. I don't know. They might have changed things around, but my personal take on that, folks, is if you could do it, uh, try to do it on your own. Um, if you, if, you know, like I said again, if you, if you have a credit cards, multiple credit cards, which I hope you don't, but if you do and you do have multiple credit cards that have credit lines on them, you know, balances, get the one that has the highest credit line on it, and wipe out all the other ones. Take one of those convenient checks they usually give you at the bank and say i want to wipe out all these debts here if they're small if they're small enough that is because you know if they exceed the other credit card with the higher uh, credit line well then you're you're in a bad situation uh so you might want to take that into consider you know th think about that and the last one over here is they say the second one here is a uh, seventh one is bankruptcy and second to last resort you may need to claim bankruptcy claiming bankruptcy should only be done when you are undeniably mucked up, uh, mucked up your finances so bad that there's no way out or there is no income left. This is scary. There are two types of bankruptcies. Chapter 7, you have little uh, to no income. They will liquidate some of your assets and to cover some of your debts. Then you got a chapter 13. You can get a repayment plan established to pay off your debts over the next three years. You'll need to check with your state or for, on qualifications for either of those bankruptcies. Just remember that after this bankruptcy filing is completed, your credit card score will plummet and the bankruptcy stays on your credit card report for up to 10 years and you may still have some uncovered debts left to repay as well. Okay. The other one is ignoring your debts. Uh, this is number eight. Uh, it says over here, this should be the, the very last option to pick. I don't suggest doing it at all, but it is a choice you can make 
that is just to ignore your credit card debt. Unpaid accounts are removed. Uh, unpaid accounts are removed from your credit report after seven years. At this point, the delinquency stops affecting your credit. In the meantime, your credit suffers badly, and since you are still legally obligated to pay a debt, a debt collector can pursue you until the statute of limitations runs out in your state. To find how long the statute of uh, statute of limitations are in your state is a great site. You would click this on here. And then it says, I hope it comes, I hope it doesn't come down to have to pick one of the last three choices. This will limit any future financial choices you can make. The first five are much easier to accomplish and doesn't affect your credits as much. Do you have any credit card debt payoff success stories? We'd love to hear them. As a matter of fact, I should tell them my credit card stories. They really get a kick out of it. Let me just click this on really quick and see what this says over here because I didn't know about this part. I didn't get a chance to check it out. So let's see what we got here. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, here it gives you uh, the statues, uh, uh, state uh, statute of limitation for credit card debt, which I guess is pretty good. Um, wow, this is pretty much all of it. Look at that, all the states it looks like. Uh, I'm in New York, so let's see what New York is. Let's keep scrolling down. Here we go. All right. New York is six years. Civil practice laws and rules, right? Uh, to well, It's got number 2-213, a state law. I guess when you click that on, it takes you to an under window. So let's see what this one is. Okay, consolidated laws. Okay, and then it goes over here, abandoned properties and so on and so forth. It's one of these things that keep hyperlinking you to uh, different situations here. Uh, debit and creditor, I guess when you click this hyperlink on, uh, it'll bring you to some more information, general assessments of benefit creditors. Um, secured credit involved the discharge for credit yeah and, and then what it does is um, it brings you it hyperlinks you to all the but you know it's it's pretty good to know just in case you're in a situation like this hopefully you know a lot of people will take advantage of this here and um, you know we'll make we'll make good with this here we'll use it you know but um, if you ever do need to um, get involved with this here just check it out and uh, like I said again um, it, it's a good site if, if you're not familiar with this here um, check it out for those who are facing credit card debt I know I was and I'm gonna keep this information hopefully I hope and pray to God I never have to use this again folks um, I got my I got I closed up my last credit card I now I deal strictly with debit cards uh, which is basically I'm using my own money to pay my bills um, I like it that way the one I had in my other video I think I, I talked about it a while back about a secured MasterCard um, that you can get it. Uh, my credit union has it where you, you the limit you put down is $250 and the minimum payment on that if you use I know it's not a lot folks but if you have big credit and you want to reestablish credit that is the best way to do it you get yourself a secured MasterCard uh, I have I used it my credit was shot after I lost my job uh, I got laid off. I guess I got two layoffs on one company, one bankruptcy. So I was out of work in between sporadically, not at all at one time, thank God. But um, it did affect my credit score. But um, when I did get the secure MasterCard, and it, like I said, it starts you with $250 minimum uh, to start it off. And my monthly payments are $15 a month, which is doable. You know, basically, if you don't pay off the whole amount, let's say if you got a $250 line of credit that you, you know, given yourself, it's your money, mind you. And let's say you spend fifty dollars, and you decide you don't want to pay the whole fifty back because maybe you're short that month, or you don't have enough money to do it, so you pay the bare minimum, uh, which is fifteen dollars for me. Uh, but you will pay yourself back with interest. Okay. The only way you could avoid the interest on that is by paying that whole amount off. I'm not saying if you spend two hundred fifty dollars to pay off the whole two hundred fifty dollars, but if you spend twenty five dollars one week, and uh, when the bill comes in and then you pay it off, uh, you'll waive. Uh, the um, interest for interest fees, you know, the interest on it on that amount. So um, it's something to really consider and think about. But anyway, guys, I'm gonna call it. Uh, you know, I'm gonna end this video right now. I hope you got something out of it. And uh, like I said, you know, I do these videos, folks, to put out things to help people out, to give you a little insight. I know there's a lot of uh, you know uh, creators at the YouTube creators that have good websites too on how to pay off your bills and things of that nature. But um, you know, when I come across certain things I think that may be of, you know, help to people, I will share with you guys. So if you did get anything out of this video, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, give it a thumbs up if you like it. And don't forget to hit the notification bell on if you want to be updated on new things that um, come out. When, I, when new things get posted or I come across anything, updates, um, you'll be aware of it when they come out. 
But anyway, guys, have a great weekend. This is Rich Bassini signing off. I will talk to you the next time. Thanks again. Have a great day. Bye-bye.